illegal, damaging, disrespectful. Those are the words a New Mexico school district is using to describe a senior prank. Parents and students tell us their prank involved what you see here. Streamers, toilet paper, glitter as well, and a kid being rolled in a tire. But listen, everything was cleaned up within two hours. However, now some of those students could be facing criminal charges. Brianna Wilson has been looking into this reported vandalism. Brianna, what's going on here? Well, the students involved probably never imagined the mess they're in now because of the mess they left behind last Friday. Videos and pictures show some of the damage that could have dozens of Gallup High School students facing charges. They've been through a pandemic, made it this far, still 4.0 students. Why, 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 why? You know, why now? So close to graduating again. According to a report the school filed with the Gallup Police Department, the students caused zero dollars worth of damage, with no items identified as broken, but more as trashed. Some students say they tried to clean it up before the night was over. So me, Kayla, and a lot of other athletes went into Ms. Hall's office and tried to clean it up, tried to clean up the office. Still, the district handed out some very hefty punishments The parents say contradict district policy. For first offenses, parents should be notified. Students referred to a counselor and suspended for no longer than three days. But a lot of the students involved in the prank have been suspended indefinitely. They were supposed to have a hearing with the school board this week, but parents say that was postponed without explanation. In the meantime, students are barred from classes and sports. Alyssa Gonzalez is the captain of the dance team at Gallup High. She says she lost a scholarship because of her involvement in the prank. It just, it's really hard because it was my senior year. I was like, oh, senior prank, it's going to be fun. I didn't damage anything. You know, I didn't, I didn't have the key to get in. And they just keep trying to charge me as a criminal. And mm -hmm. I'm not a criminal. It just hurts, like... When they're trying to accuse me of things without showing me evidence, without telling me, without questioning me. We tried to get in touch with the principal of Gallup High and the McKinley County School Superintendent. Both calls went straight to voicemail. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. We did receive this statement from GMCS, saying in part, the district is highly disappointed by the illegal, damaging, and disrespectful behavior by several students in the early morning of April 1st, 2022. Breaking and entering, vandalism, and destruction of school property is illegal and considered criminal activity. Now the district statement also, oh, sorry. <laughs> no, uh, Brianna, I mean, you're, you know everything that's going on with this. Yeah. You were starting to mention there. I'm glad you did because it mentioned graffiti. I mean, that's different than uh, what we saw there, streamers and uh, I, I think books on uh, bleachers and stuff. So what's the deal with that? Well, that's right. Parents did, and students did tell us that there was graffiti, but it was work from students that uh, were a part of another school in mm. that district. We've not been able to confirm that. Part of the investigation includes identifying all of those who are involved. Brianna, that statement that you read also mentions breaking and entering. What's the story there? Well, the police report actually says it's unknown how students got into the school because there was no damage to the doors or broken windows. Students tell us school gates and doors were already open when they arrived. Brianna, thanks.